What is up guys, Digital Next, and today we're back with another My Story anime. So let's just go ahead and uh, we'll jump right in. So you'd think, with the photographer parent, I'd have a beautifully documented childhood. Well, you'd be wrong. I hardly had any pictures because mom was always too busy, and I was raised by nannies. Sure, mom gave me everything. Sure, my mom gave me everything she provided for me, gave me a roof over my head, she made sure I had stuff for school and the best toys and some of the nicest clothes, but you know what I didn't have that mom couldn't provide? Love, a mother's love. And that's what I wanted all along. And money can't buy, money might be able to buy that, I don't know yet. But once when she was in a meeting, I slipped into her dark room and switched on the lights and all her photos were destroyed. That nanny was fired. And then she hired a lady named Susan. She'd always let me do her makeup and she even taught me how to slide down our main staircase. She'd pitch up a tent in our backyard and then tell me stories around. Susan sound a little too good to be true. What's, what's gonna happen with Susan? I need to know. I I'm just saying, a nanny who does all that? You got Mary Poppins over there? What's going on? She'd just make up magical tales in the moment, and I was hooked. What are you thinking, you lily-livered, yellow-bellied scallywag? Whoa, whoa, Susan, Susan, please. We don't call people that anymore, all right? It's 2023. You can't be calling people that. That's not right, Susan, all right? The story was cool, all right? I like I like the part with the pirates and, and space and whatnot. I, I Listen, Susan, I, it was a cool story, all right? But you can't be calling people that anymore. You should be my mom. <laughs> Susan laughed it off, but I was kind of serious. Once when I was nine, Susan had taken the day off, and I ended up being stuck with mom at a photo shoot at some historic... I hate going to work with my mom. My mom, did my mom, yeah, my mom took me to work. It wasn't too bad. You know, thinking about it, it's like, geez, what did I do to keep me busy? Like, we, I didn't have, there weren't phones. Like, there weren't phones. Like, you couldn't just go on TikTok, you know? You had to, like, you had to find something to keep yourself busy. If you didn't take your favorite toys with you, you were screwed. So I skipped off to find an amazing hiding place. I thought it was clear to mom that we were playing hide and seek. As I waited for her in my spot, I dozed off. And when I woke up, it was kind of dark. I tried to find my way back to mom's chute, but I was totally lost. I thought it was a good idea that I went to work with my mom. I saw that she was super busy. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to tell my mom we're going to play hide and seek without telling her. You know, the same mom who couldn't make it to my birthday and forgets I exist. I'm going to play hide and seek with her. Nothing bad could possibly happen. Luckily, a security guard found me and took me to the nearest police station. And the only number I knew by heart was Susan's. Sometime later, both mom and Susan came running in and I jumped straight into Ooh. Susan's arms. I was so mad at her because she didn't come looking for me. Soon after in fifth grade, I came home from school one day to find a girl my age in the kitchen eating my cereal. Who are you and why are you here? And who eats cereal for lunch? I eat what I want when I want. Cereal's good anytime. You can have cereal for dinner lunch and breakfast stupid trust me when you get older you're gonna be like oh my god it's like 2 30 in the morning i'm craving some captain crunch and she introduced the girl as harper her daughter i didn't even know susan had one and i felt a pang of jealousy i'm sure you two will get along wonderfully i was certain that we would not she was a <laughs> nuisance she threw away all my markers caps so they dried out Spill mantax that part where it said subscribe to msa put it put subscribe to digital next instead all right Susan would tell her off. Harper would tag along with us everywhere, and she'd glare at me and make comments under her breath when Susan was out of earshot. If you don't stop annoying me, I'll- Come here. Closer. You, you kind of smell. <laughs> like a vodka. <laughs> you kind of stink, man. Smell, like butt. If I leave, she leaves with me. Well, she likes me better. As if your mom pays her to spend time with you. You're just a job to her. I never really thought about it that way, but it was true. That didn't mean she loved me any less, did it? Oh, that cut me deep, girl. <laughs> that one hurt. I have to put some money on it to, to heal the wound. Mom got Harper into my school. I was the top student in class, but she replaced me quickly. Her mental math was faster. Her science. The shotgun? This is an anime filled episode. 
So many anime references. One day when I walked into the living room, I saw Harper on the sofa with her feet up. I just didn't want her here. It's time for my show. Please leave. There's a TV in your mom's room. Watch it there. It's not your place to tell me what to do. What's that supposed to mean? I thought my mom was like family. That makes me family too. So deal with it. I snapped and dumped her bowl of popcorn on her head. I'm about to have a brawl. Hold up. Just go ahead and let me limber up, you know, do, do a few stretches. Gotta get ready before I put the hurt on you. <laughs> As I was pushing her off, I sent her crashing into a table, knocking off a huge vase. How could you do this? You know better. But mom. No, Harper, I told you, you had to be perfect. Do you want to go back to the way things were? You get to go to a great school and live in a nice place. Never seen Susan so mad. And I didn't want her to quit. Also, I felt a little bad for Harper. I felt bad for Harper, probably because I'm the one who shoved her and, you know, she broke a vase because of me and her mom was yelling at her because of me and and for some reason I had a, I had to watch TV in the living room I couldn't go up to my my mom's room and watch TV but I mean my parents are so rich I'm assuming that I just had a TV in my room but I had to be in the living room for some odd reason I felt a little bad you know but not my fault not my fault wait it was an accident I tripped and she was just helping me up Susan calmed down and after that day things started getting better between me and Harper once we both backed off from annoying each other we realized that we actually had a lot in common. By the time we reached high school, mom- That's crazy. You're telling me that if you talk it out and find common ground that you can actually be friends with someone? So instead of just blindly hating someone, you can actually talk to them and find out you have a lot in common? That's crazy. That's a new concept to me. I never knew that. Thank you for telling me that. She wanted me to take an interest in the business. And even though I pretended I didn't like tagging along, I actually loved the glamorous shoots and meeting celebrities. I even started hanging out with celebrity kids my age. I'd often invite Harper to join us, but she I'm gonna go ahead and assume Harper doesn't feel comfortable, probably because she has a, a little, little thing called no money. And you're over here taking her to these super rich areas and parts parties and where everyone is filthy, filthy rich. So she feels out of place because she's not one of them. She never seemed comfortable around them. One night we were at a burger joint when they decided it would be fun to break into an amusement park at night and operate the rides. Ah, oh, that sounds fun. Right, Harper? Um, no, it doesn't. It sounds illegal. No, I'm going home. <laughs> what a loser. Let's go, Mia. We had a blast at the- I'm sure this part didn't happen. Ain't, ain't no one breaking no amusement park right now. Amusement park, and even narrowly escaped when a security guard turned up. We almost peed our pants laughing <laughs> as we drove away, and it was such a thrill. But Harper had a sour face the next day. Haven't you noticed their comments on my appearance? They're just giving you some friendly fashion advice. They're being condescending, Mia. Oh yeah, my bad. I forgot when your friend said I look like a poor little pig who lives in the trash, they were just giving me friendly, you know, fashion advice. My bad. I should have I should have thought about that comment a lot better before I said something. My bad, girl. We're just used to their parents getting them whatever they want. Okay, so my mom also gets me anything I want, Harp. Is that what you think of me too? But I caught Harper rolling her eyes when mom got me a sports car for my 17th birthday. Also, when I got into a college business program without taking the entry test because- I think if I was filthy rich, I wouldn't get my child a sports car for their first car. It just doesn't seem practical. One, why do you need a sports car for your first car? Everyone's gonna look at me, no one cares. People are probably like, oh, but don't you want, you know, I wanna be popular, I want everyone to look at my car and stuff. You show up to your high school with a brand new sports car, people are gonna be like, oh wow, that looks cool. I guarantee people will talk behind your back and be like, oh, Mm, his parents bought that for him. Obviously, he couldn't afford it. Oh, why is he? People are gonna be jealous. They're gonna say stuff. Yeah, you'll get the, oh wow, dude, that's nice. That's awesome, you're so lucky. You'll get that to your face, but everyone will talk about you behind your back. Things were tense between us, but when I found out about a national story contest, I went straight to Harper with it, trying to get into her good books. Won't you be entering it yourself? Or maybe you can just win it anyway because your mom probably knows someone. Stop being so snarky. I haven't written something in ages, so no, I'm not entering. But you should, Harper. And some weeks later, she sent off her story, and then one day, she burst into my room excitedly. Mia, I won. <gasps> Mia, I won. 
and mommy didn't have to pull any strings from me. I did it all on my own. Don't you know that it feels good when you do stuff on your own? That's crazy. Unheard of. Oh, thank you for convincing me to enter. Harper, that's amazing. I gotta tell mom. She's gonna be so happy. I couldn't help feeling a little jealous, though. I'd always wanted to have a story published, and Harper- Sweet lord, it's like when you have everything, and then you cry about wanting more. It's like, what are you crying about? Be happy for her. What, you, what more could you want? I don't understand why you'd be so greedy. Till her book came out. It was my first time reading her script, and my heart started racing. I couldn't believe my eyes as I frantically skimmed through the pages. These were my stories. I stormed downstairs and shoved the book in her- So now we get a story of, please let Harper win in this one. Uh, and what I mean by that is, I don't want to see this where the spoiled rich girl confronts her poor, poor stepsister, or what, they're not even stepsisters, but you know, her poor friend who lives with her and says, you're stealing my stories and takes everything away for her and makes it seem like she's the hero of the story. That's pretty bad. They're my ideas. But of course, you found a way to make it about yourself. You've always thought you're better than me because I'm just the help's daughter. Don't change the subject, witch. And I've loved Susan like my own mom. Yeah. Don't change the subject, you witch with the capital B. I love Susan too, you know? I can't believe you guys are related. <laughs> Trash. Well, we were gonna leave after high school anyway, but now with my book deal, I'm sure I can take mom away even faster. I always knew you were jealous of me, and I was right. Jealous of you? Oh, please. Why would I be jealous of someone whose mother can't be bothered to talk to her more than twice a month? Ah, uh, true. The, the spoiled rich girl is crying because the poor girl is gonna take her mom away from the rich girl the poor girl is in the right here. She's not in the wrong. The rich girl's the rich girl is the villain in this story. And then one night, some reporters came to interview her at the house and asked her where she got her inspiration. Oh, my mom's always been a great storyteller. I wouldn't be here without her. You wouldn't be here without me, Harper. Hey everyone, here's something you should Harper attacked me and suddenly we were fighting like wild Why she have to do that? Why she have to go there and start a whole scene? Just can't let her win, huh? Old cats till our moms pulled us apart. Mom asked the reporters to leave, and when I told her everything, she was livid. Stealing ideas from my daughter and attacking her too? I want you both gone, now. It didn't make me feel better though. Then one night, mom knocked on my door. Hey, sweetie, wanna go out for dinner? I don't really feel like it, mom. Do it for me anyway. I reluctantly agreed, and she took me to a small Italian restaurant. I reluctantly agreed and my mom spent like a couple thousand on our dinner. We we went to like the fanciest Italian restaurant we could possibly find and she bought me all my favorites and you know, the poor girl had to go back home with her mom and I almost, I pretty much ruined her book thing, you know? I, I'm not gonna let her succeed in life. This is where your father and I came on our first date. Your father was a photographer too. He got sick soon after I got pregnant with you, but I think I've let you down. What do you mean? I can see how much you miss Susan. And she's made you into the kind of person you are today, not me. Is there anything I can do to make up for me not being there? Mom. You can be there for me now. Me familia, me madre. I've always appreciated everything you've given me, but I think I just want your time now. I'd see Harper on the news. She'd turned her novel into a trilogy and gained worldwide success. I tried to get over my bitterness. Then one day, my assistant let in a visitor, and I was shocked to see Harper. What are you doing here? I don't want to see you. Please, Mia, just hear me out. She told me that Susan had fallen sick and had been in the hospital for months. You know what? I'm glad. No, I'm not glad that Susan's sick. I'm glad that Harper succeeded, you know? I'm glad that she made it on her, you know, she did her thing and she made it. I'm happy for her, okay? She's recovering now, but she keeps asking to see you. I put all my differences aside and ran to see her, and hugging her made me feel like a kid again. Harper didn't steal your stories, Mia. I did. I felt like someone had punched me. It wasn't intentional, believe me. You remember how you always shared your stories with me over the years? When Harper was writing for that contest, she had writer's block and I gave her some ideas. I didn't realize those were all yours or that it would be such a- Crazy. I don't care, honestly. <laughs> I don't care at this point. I just want to- Mia, Mia isn't a good person. Let's just- Let's just face the facts. Mia isn't all that great of a person. Mia may be the main character here, but I'm, I'm Team Harper right now, you know? I didn't want to take away this amazing thing for my daughter, but I felt so awful for the pain I caused you, Mia. I am so sorry. 
Do you think you can ever forgive me? Oh, please don't cry, Susan. I, I just need some time to process this, okay? Really? You need time to process this? Yeah, I think you had enough time. She's literally out, like in the hospital. Still trying to wrap my head around every- Mom just told me a week ago, Mia. I really had no idea. You know what? Your mom inspired me to write stories too. I'm sure so many of my ideas came from her. It kind of feels right that they came back to you. And I'm enjoying being part of mom's business. I still don't care. I, I don't like Mia in this story. I'm, I'm still for Team Harper. Go, go Team Harper, okay? All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button and to subscribe and turn on that little bell for notifications so you know when I go live or I post a new video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.